Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to our power. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continue to work well, that continue to work well. And honor to you brothers out there laboring in truth and sincerity. And Shalom to you few sincere sisters out there. <coughs> Let's just get straight into the scripts. Excuse me. We <clears throat> get straight into the scripts, and Lord willing, <laughs> it'd be edifying. So my first script I'm gonna get is um <clears throat> Proverbs twenty two. So Proverbs 22, let me see. Let's get to the point. Proverbs 22 and verse 3. Oh, excuse me. These damn hiccups right when I started recording. Sock here. Proverbs 22 and verse 3. A <coughs> Proverbs 22 and verse 3 it reads, A prudent man. For see it the evil and hide it himself and hide it himself. Okay. A prudent man, you know, he sees um he sees um let me get the word prudent real quick to make my point. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna read the scripture again to get that definition. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hide it himself. Okay, and that word prudent says goes into it in the Google and it says, um, acting with or showing care and thought for the future. Okay, so it says a prudent man foresee it the evil and hide it himself. Okay, I want to use the scripture to say this. Uh, um, you know, um, of course, when you see a bunch of niggas being niggas, you, you don't want to go over there. Okay, you, you, you. You see that it's, it, it's evil over there. You see it could be, you know, you go over there, it could be something bad, okay? Something bad can happen, okay? A smart, the smart thing for you, to, for you to do is turn around and walk away, okay? Go the opposite way of that direction, okay? Doesn't mean you're a coward. That means you're using wisdom. But I want to say, uh, say it like this, because um, it said a prudent man. Let me read the definition again. It says prudent acting with or showing care and thought for the future, for the future. So with that being said, um, you see a prudent man, a man of, that's a man of the Lord, okay? A true man of the Lord sees, um, before I even say this, a true man of the Lord loves doing the will of Yah Bashim Yah Shai, okay? Um, and what I mean by that is going out there in highways and byways and you know, and getting and, and um uh doing what he gotta do doing what he gotta do. To uh, be a better prophet for the Lord, to be a better servant for the Lord. Okay, so with that being said, you see if you you go in, if you go any other way outside this truth, this all death. Okay, if you're a wise man, you're gonna understand that all um the only thing that's only the only thing that that's beneficial for you in Salakia. These hiccups are low key messing me up right now, Salakia. But um, you being a spiritual man, you you understand no matter how hard this truth gets. You understand that if you are sticking with it, you're gonna prosper. You're gonna um 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 that's the only that's the only thing that's gonna um, um 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 matter at the end of the day, okay? Because if you go the other way, you know, the opposite way of this truth is death is death, okay? You see that it's death. You know if you turn your back on the Lord, okay, a real true man of the Lord, okay? That's that should that should honestly be be common sense, okay? But I wanna say that for that scripture. You see, you see, um, if you do anything opposite in, uh, of the truth, okay, you just turn your back fully, you're going to die, okay? And a true man of the Lord, no matter how hard it is, like I said in the beginning, he's going to keep on staying strong for Yahweh Shemel Shai because he understands what comes with the truth. It comes with hardship, okay? That's, that's true. 
that's what the straight gate is, okay? That's that's going through difficulty, okay? But you go to that straight gate, you're going straight, you're not weaving to the left or the right. He's going straight and dealing with it, okay? So a true man, Lord, will understand that it's hard, okay? It's not easy. But if you do what you got to do for the Lord and stay strong, you know, stay 10 toes down for the Lord, you're going to be all right. You're going to be straight, okay? I'm not going to sit here and say it's going it's to get easier. <laughs> you know, the truth, you know, the demons going to level up. OK, but if you keep on, you know, staying grounded and staying rooted in the, in the, in the, in the, in the word, um, it's going to be easier to uh, uh, to beat whatever you're going through. OK, uh, so I made my point on that. So like you, <clears throat> like I said, these hiccups kind of messing me up. So, so like you. Um, so let me continue. Proverbs 22, and verse three, a prudent man foresee the evil and, hi and hide it himself. But the simple pass on and and. And are punished, okay. So a simple as motherfucker, you know, you know. I understand the Lord. You know, we understand the Lord's control of everything. But a simple motherfucker being the truth, and you know, and fall out the truth and act like they don't. That they, they act like um, what they learned was just fairy a fairy tale, okay. That's because they wasn't being patient. Ultimately, because the Lord don't, you know, they want part part of your leg. But for for um, but my point is um. Let me read the, let me read the end again. It said, but the simple pass on and are punished. Okay, the simple is gonna just just be like fuck it. You no know, feed into their flesh and, and they're gonna pass they gonna pass on they're gonna pass on. Okay, they have to see you on the other side. Okay. By humility, verse by humility and the fear of the Lord, Yahweh are riches and honor and life. Okay. You you know coming at the Lord as a child, okay? Um, that's riches, like the scriptures say, okay? That's the only thing the, the Lord honors. He doesn't he doesn't care what you got on the side, okay? Um, and the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. I just just wanted to get that. <clears throat> Dang, so I Proverbs eighteen. Proverbs 18 and verse 10. The name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, is a strong tower. Okay? It's like I was saying in the, in the in my last scripture, Proverbs 22 and verse 3. Um it said, um, it said, um, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and, and hideth himself. Okay. And um the scripture I just brought out, it said, um, Proverbs 18 and verse 10, it says, The name of the Lord is a is a strong tower okay a prudent man sees that sees that staying with the lord you know staying in that you know on the side on the right hand side side of the lord uh, um um keeping the commandments and the statues and um in um, um, his ways to the best of your ability that's going to keep you alive no matter how it looks no matter if you feel like you're through a true man a true prudent man is going to be like okay he going he going he going to look at the bigger picture he going to look at the future okay I'm gonna go through this, whatever I'm going through, whatever brother's going through, I'm gonna get through with the spirit power of Yahweh and I'm gonna be straight, okay? Us going through this 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 bitter hard time is gonna make the sweet sweetness of this truth even sweeter, okay? So a prudent man gonna think like that. He gonna be like, okay, this is tough or whatever, but he gonna be like, okay, I see the future is gonna be even better, even brighter, um, 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 glamorous, whatever you wanna say is gonna be even. This is gonna be better simple simple as that it's gonna be uh um even juicier okay even um you know brothers understand what i'm saying because the bitterness you went through okay so you see the future you're going to get it through it and endure enduring it you're going to be um you're going to be uh even more grateful that you, you stuck by the lord okay you're going to you know um <laughs> oh so i guess heck it's messing me up let me see so let me continue proverbs 18 and verse 10 the name the name of the lord is a strong is a, is a strong tower the righteous running into it and it's safe okay and i keep using that word prudent a prudent man is a man of the elect really <clears throat> okay and no a prudent man is going to stay in that in that in that tower with the lord y'all about not shy okay um so, let me get my next script <clears throat> Now this script is gonna be Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes, um, twelve and thirteen. 
So this is Ecclesiastes 12 and verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God, Yahweh Bashim Shai, like I said, that's the beginning of knowledge, and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. Okay, so that's the whole duty of an Israelite man to keep the ways of Yahweh Bashim Shai to the best of your abilities. Okay, because, because um, you know, if you're in the scripts, you understand that the, um, uh, the, um, you know, keeping a, uh, the law is not gonna save you. You um uh ah you um it's because I'm thinking about the scripture. Let me just say it. um the law is not gonna um, um, um justify you. It's you having faith, okay? You fearing the Lord, Yah Bashim Shai, and you trying your best, okay? Because it's impossible to keep the uh, uh um all the commandments, okay? But let me continue for. God. Verse 14, for God, Yahweh shall bring every work into judgment with every secret, with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. OK, so if you stay in with Yahweh, you know, trusting and trusting in the, um, his his shield, his um, his his um, his, pro <coughs> his protection, he gives his men, you know, you know, if you're doing the right thing, if you just keep on trusting in him, you're going to be straight. OK, you basically you sow what you, you sow what you weep. Okay, this is a, this could be a preset. This is a preset to you basically. I'm gonna just roughly paraphrase it. You sow what you you sow what you weep. Okay, you you over there in the spirit. You know you're doing this. You trying to stay in the spirit. Um, you trying to upgrade. Um, uh, uh, to be a better to be a better prophet for the Lord. To be a better servant for the Lord. Okay. Um, you gonna weep. You gonna uh, you gonna weep a good reward. Okay, if you keep on doing it, endure to the end. But if you give up, you are gonna weep. A, a evil reward because if you giving up, take your hand off the plow, you being an evil ass nigga, <laughs> okay? And you gonna uh, uh, um weep wicked ass. Wait, I'm not gonna say wicked ass. You gonna weep wickedness. You gonna weep death, <laughs> okay? Um, that scripture actually speak for itself. So let me get to the next script. <sighs> Salaki again. I keep saying Salaki, but it's just saying because. <laughs> I just started getting hit. I literally got hiccups as soon as I started recording. <clears throat> it's kind of throwing me off. But I feel like it's edifying, so I'm just continue, Lord willing. <clears throat> With Salakia. So this is 1 Timothy 6 and 11. <clears throat> Salakia. This is 1 Timothy 6 and verse 11, and it reads, But thou, O man of God, Yahweh Shai, flee these things, okay? And flee, flee what? Flee the old man. Flee, flee the wicked ways of this world, okay? Don't follow a multitude to do sins. Just because the multitude, a lot of people doing it, don't mean it's right. <clears throat> don't mean it's cool, okay? The, if you really know know the Lord in any type of way, um, you understand he he deals with um little num little numbers, okay? It's not about um quantity. It's about the quality, okay? The Lord is dealing with um, um, small num small numbers. He don't care about big numbers. None of that, cause you know, as brothers know, man. Um, he can lift up rocks. Okay, <laughs> he can lift up rocks and have them prophesy. He don't need us. Okay, but with that being said, you know, leave um, leave your old man behind and just seek after uh the ways of the of the Lord, our Lord Yahweh Shai, and His ways. Okay, move how He moves to the best of your ability. Okay. And follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meek, meekness, no meekness, being humble, patience, no suffering. And, and it's just enduring it until the Lord, Yahweh Shai, you know, calls it, call his elect, you know, Yahweh Rata Zah, that'll be, that'll be me, you know, and any sincere brother listening to me, okay, and my, and my bros I know personally, okay, um, so the point is made with that. So I'm gonna just grab off my last script. You know, I keep saying Salaki is Salaki with the hiccups, and you know, my bad. It was kind of throwing me off. So let me get my my last script. And uh, no, the point the point is made. Just want to do a quick one on the Lord. Never could speak about the Lord too much. First Corinthians one. No, 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 not First Corinthians one. First Corinthians fourteen and verse one. <clears throat> First Corinthians fourteen and verse one. Follow after charity and desire spiritual gifts, but rather 
that ye may prophesy. Okay. Okay. So the, 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 uh, the point was in the beginning that I wanted to get follow after charity and, and desire spiritual gifts. And how, how do you desire spiritual gifts? You seek, like the scriptures say, you seek out the things, um, you seek, you seek the thing you seek the, uh, I'm gonna roughly paraphrase it. Um, um, so, so, um, let me just get that real quick. As a matter of fact, I don't want to, let me actually get that. So I'm going to get two presets. I'm going to close out like that since I said that. Okay, so it says, 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 1, follow after charity and desire spiritual gifts, but rather that ye may prophesy. It says desire spiritual gifts. How do you desire spiritual gifts? How are you going to get spiritual gifts on the, on the, on the first round? You do, do doing this, okay? You have the, the mindset like this, okay? This is 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 18, and it reads, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are internal. Okay? So you seeking the things that are not seen, you believe in Yahweh Shemal Shai, the entity that you, you never even seen before. But in actuality, you actually did see him and was with him if you are part of the elect, of course. But you believe in Yahweh Shemal Shai. Okay? Okay? You thinking about the kingdom, you sinking things that, that your, your, your brain can't even famine. You can't even imagine in your, in your head, okay? But, but you're seeking those things. You're believing in things. That's how you're going to, um, that's how you're going to get them spiritual gifts, okay? Because that's how the elect going to be walking, okay? <clears throat> um, so let me get Hebrews 11 and 1. I'm going to close out with that, you know? Put some emphasis on this. So 11, Hebrews 11. Um, my bad, this is acting slow. Hebrews 11 and verse 1. Now faith is the substance of... Sorry, read it again. Hebrews 11 and verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not... The evidence of things not seen, okay? Yeah, that's what faith is about, Okay? The things that are unseen. What's the whole point of faith? If you if you see if you see it, okay, that's the it defeats the the matter, okay. That's the mindset you should have, okay. Our minds on the things that's not seen, okay, okay. That's what we're really seeking on. We we seeking that Yahweh Shemal Shai come through. You know Yahweh Shai comes through, tear this bitch down, and righteousness flourish forever. Okay, that's the mindset you should have. That's the mindset that's gonna keep your sanity. Okay, so with that, the point made, Lord willing, was edifying for you for the flock. Uh, Lord willing, I'm not Lord willing. <laughs> well, yeah, Lord willing again. Lord willing was edifying and uh, slacking on my hiccups. You could see it went away. That's how I know it's Satan. But hey, I could let this <laughs> mess with me, you know. So don't let Satan, don't let Satan take your crown unless yourself take your crown. You no, know, stay strong for y'all by strong shot, no matter how you feel. Okay, like I said before. So, like I said, the point is made, you know, Lord willing is edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continue to work well. And honor to your brothers out there laboring and laboring in truth and sincerity. And it didn't even go away. <laughs> but um, Lord willing is edifying. Shalom and a ball of ball. Kwame Yashirallah.